A few weeks ago, I posted a video about this strange DC charging error I got on in my Tesla Model 3. It was something about I wouldn't be able to DC fast charge, but AC charging would be okay. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about how that got resolved and what it did cost me. Uh, I'm not going to go into a huge detail uh, like I did in the old video about how I could look up the error after the fact because it did disappear again, but the video is here. I'll put a link everywhere so you can see how to go into the secret menu if that is what you do want to see. So um, we're just going to dive straight into what was done and how it was done, basically. So I created a service ticket or whatever you call it directly in the app and said this was concerning that uh, it told me that I couldn't DC fast charge anymore. It did go away after a few minutes, but I decided to have it fixed anyways, since I figured I might be going on a summer vacation this year uh, through Europe. I don't know if that's going to happen, uh, probably not, but it's a nice thing to be able to DC fast charge. So let me show you first what was replaced. So um, the first thing they replaced the technician, he came out to my I'm going to say technician, should I say that, or mechanic? <laughs> anyway, he came out to my house and uh, in my carport, he changed uh, this harness, this high voltage harness. And um, I, I was working when he was doing that. So, but he was, seemed like we're doing everything from the trunk and the rear. Uh, and it was fairly quick. I don't think he used more than an hour to change it. So you can see the price there, 156 euros. Now I'm going to, show you what they charged me here in the end. So that was one of the things that were changed. The other thing was this thing, safety port cap, uh, whatever that is. Can we get a bigger picture now? That's the second thing they charged and 30 euros it says right here. So it's not terribly expensive to, uh, to fix these things. And it was fairly easy. I asked the guy about this era, was this unique? Was this something? he has seen before and he said no we we get this error from some cars it's not uncommon to see this and uh now we are just going to dive directly into what does this cost me right so i want to say first of all that this car of mine here is uh, the it's out of not warranty but the Kilometers is 90,000, not 1990. Uh, so it was like 80,000 or four years. I can't remember, was it a year? I, I forget. But the battery is still in warranty uh, for eight years, uh, 180,000 kilometers or 200. So I'm, I think I'm going to hit that right around the eight year mark if I have the car by then. So, um, so I had to pay for this myself. And you shouldn't be too afraid of this because if the grand scheme of things, what you should be scared about, or not scared, worried about are the bearings, the bushings in the suspension and everything that keeps the wheel up because those are not going to last 100,000. And Tesla says it's good, but the people who, <laughs> who check your car, if you can drive it on road, says it's not, but that's, that's another video. So um, let's just take the prices on this first. If you want to hear that story, that's the... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if I have a Tesla to drive around in in a month, but uh, yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> I might just have to put it in the garage and uh, get a diesel. Anyway, so I have the prices here in Danish Krona. Cheers. Oh, it's just coffee. Uh, US dollars and euros. And I try to do all the math to the best of my abilities. I'm not a math geek, but if you find an error spot, me, please let me know in a comments down below so mm, the first thing work hours it says half an hour to replace the uh, charge port to high voltage battery ac cable that might be the one you just saw there so that was uh, almost 700 kronos you can see there 100 dollars 90 euros uh, man hours are uh, exceedingly expensive in denmark so this is going price for a mechanic here. <laughs> so uh, the harness itself uh, was actually not too bad. It was pretty cheap, right? 200 Danish kroner, 27 euros, or 25 euros, 27 US dollars. And then I think the quantity is like one is an hour, full hour. So 
Yeah, it was not even hours. So I think he, he charged fair enough. He didn't charge more hours than he used. And the charge cap was, as again, you see, 31 Danish Krona for US dollars and euros. And then, of course, we needed 25% tax on top of that. So um, these are the prices. That is what it cost me. And I haven't had any of those problems lately. <laughs> so uh, now the whole thing about the bushings and stuff like that, let me know if you want to hear that story. So I'll, I'll make a video about that. But let's not make the videos longer than they need to be because there are way too many long videos on YouTube, right? So fairly easy thing to do, not that expensive if you're going a lot of road trips or whatever, um, or charging much outside the home, I would definitely get this changed. Uh, you could take a gamble if you just use it for commute, see if the error comes back. And if it does come back, have it changed, but this is my only car, so I, I do want to be able to fast charge, so um, if I still be able to drive it on the road. So um, yeah, that's it. Uh, there's some links somewhere around here, and YouTube will recommend a video you f it thinks you might be interested in. So uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. YouTube says I should be saying that as well. But uh, <laughs> so see you around. Cheers.